Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Nick from Noobkill coming at you with another video today. So, guys, welcome back to Nick's Picks. This is where I go ahead and give you guys my NFL predictions. This is going to be for week three. Last week, we're week two. We did pretty good. We came up on top with a record of 12 and three. Now, there's three teams that I did not pick right in their games. They lost. Um, I picked Green Bay to beat Atlanta. I know they were on the road, but I thought they played really well in week one. In the second half against Seattle, the defense came to play, and of course, the offense were starting to click. Um, and then, of course, in week one, Atlanta played Chicago. And it it was kind of a close game, so I thought maybe Green Bay can steal this one on the road, but man, they got steamrolled in the first half. It was kind of sad to see. And then, of course, the other two games, the other teams I picked wrong was the LA teams. LA Chargers lost against the Dolphins. Um, I thought the Chargers did really well and had a really good comeback against the Broncos on that Monday night game in week one, and it came down to the uh, field goal, and the man missed it. And then, of course, the Dolphins, they did not play week one because of Hurricane Irma, and guess what? It came down to another field goal. I think this one was just a tie it and the man missed it again he didn't get fired he's still on the team but it was like yo i thought they could have won that game and then of course the rams they did lose to um the redskins now let's get on to this guys let's get on to the show let's get on to the picks um i am recording this late saturday night i believe um i what i've been reading everybody that's big like a big name player that's playing or sitting out because of health or like injuries or something like that it's already been talked about on the score that's where i've been checking on my all my details and stuff um and everybody that is like day to day it's not like a really Really big impact if they play or not it's not like an old Dell Beckham Jr. if you need to know, if you're knowing if he's going to be active or not um so we should be good this video like I said is uh, being recorded late Saturday night so it's I know there's a London game starting at 9 30 a.m this video is probably going to come out um 10 10 30 or 11 o'clock eastern time in the morning so it's not like hey the game has already started I'm getting a little heads up on the scores nothing happened so far but with that being said we got the Baltimore Ravens and the Jacksonville Jaguars playing in London um no team has the home uh, field advantage of course, Jacksonville got their butt handed them to them uh, last weekend by the Tennessee Titans. And then, of course, the Ravens defense, man. They have, I believe they have like 10 takeaways on defense in two games unbelievably mad um so that being said i'm gonna be going with the ravens no home field advantage i know jacksonville played really good in week one against the houston texans but they did not come to play last week um so i'm gonna give this one to the ravens they are the favorite by three points in the spread by the score um now moving on to our one o'clock games guys we got our first one with the houston texans versus my new england patriots like i said whenever i, I got a patriots game a little biased here but uh Gronk, even though he was injured uh or got injured with the groin injury i believe he's good to go amandola got uh good it got the green light to go as well after the uh, 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 concussion protocol and stuff like that. And of course, Houston, they did win last week um, against the Bengals, but the Bengals are looking really bad this year. Um, they were having a really, really bad start, and I don't think this weekend is going to be their weekend because you guys can kind of see who they're playing. Um, but yeah, it was not really a great game uh, to watch. New England did play really well against the Saints, but like players are getting hurt left, right, and center, which are not good. But some of them are coming back and they're cleared to go. I don't know if Hightower is playing, but it's in New England. Um, we are going to give this one to the Pats here. And uh, moving on to our next game, we got the Saints versus the Panthers. Now, we just said the Saints lost to the um, the Patriots. And the Panthers, they did win last weekend against the Bills, 9-3. to Very low-scoring game. I believe no team actually scored a touchdown. It was three um, field goals that the Panthers did get. Um, I think Greg Olsen, I don't know if he broke his hand or his foot, but he is going to be out. Um, but the Saints defense, man, it still looks horrendous from last season. Nothing has changed. And I think even though Greg Olsen, um, Cam Newton's main man, is out, they're still going to have a field day with this defense. They're playing in Carolina, so I'm going to give this one to the Panthers. Moving on to the next game, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Chicago Bears. The Bears got, they looked so bad. I thought they were going to get shut out, but they actually got a touchdown in the, like, the last minute of the game. Um, Mike Glennon, man, the man threw like two interceptions like back-to-back. -back. They had four turnovers in total. The man with the, uh, the punt return, I think, he tried to go for the ball bad decision um and of course i was really shocked that fox did not sub in i believe um trebinsky or even uh mark sanchez after those really really bad plays um that the chicago bears and glennon did put up and the pittsburgh steelers they did win last week against um the minnesota vikings the vikings did not have sam bradford but the defense is all there and they still put up some good points so i'm gonna go with the away team with the pittsburgh steelers right here now this is gonna be one of the big games at one o'clock there's gonna be i guess two really big games at one o'clock that I'm looking at that are going to be very exciting that you guys must watch. And now this is one of them, the Atlanta Falcons. Like we 
you said, they steamrolled over Green Bay. But the Detroit Lions, both teams are 2-0. and um, Detroit Lions, when they played against the, um, the Giants last week, Matthew Stafford looked so posed. Under center, man, he was just calling, uh, just audibly out of plays, calling shots. It was look, it looked really, really good. Uh, their last game against the Giants, but even know how much I can praise the the Lions, and I want the Lions to win this one. I still think Atlanta takes this one. They're just looking so athletic. The speed of the edge rushers and all that stuff. The defense is clicking. The offense, Julio Jones, um, Hooper was having a good game. Devontae Freeman, they got that run. It, it is just mad. Um, and Matt Ryan does not look like he's slowing down anytime soon so yeah i'm gonna give this one to the falcons now this one is gonna be it might be like two really bad teams that kind of mirror each other but i think this one's gonna be a kind of a tough one to pick um uh, like the Browns, they played against the Steelers in the first week. They had a really close game. And then last week, they played against the Ravens. Uh, Kaiser had like a migraine. He subbed out. And then they kind of lost that game. Um, but the Colts, the Colts actually played really close. In the first week, they got destroyed by the Rams. The second week, um, they had a really close game against the Cardinals. Um, they ended up losing in overtime. Um, Brissett. He looked all right. He looked. He looked. He's there. Both these quarterbacks. I watched like the game uh, preview of both games to kind of get like a head heads up on these two teams. Uh, both these two quarterbacks hold the ball a little too long, um, and they're getting sacked a little too much, and their passer rate is really bad. So I'm like I said, these teams really mirror each other. Defense are not the greatest, but I think the I think the Browns are going to get this win. I know it's going to be. I know they're playing in the Indianapolis. Uh, Brissett did look really good last weekend, but I still think the Browns are going to win this game. Moving on to our next one, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Minnesota. Minnesota Vikings now this one is another really great game but it's the only bad part about it is Sam Bradford is not playing once again he's ruled out his knees messed up or something like that and Tampa Bay looked amazing last week against the Bears man um, Mike Evans had that catch oh my goodness it was so nice um this one's gonna be a really nice game to watch that defense of the Minnesota Vikings is always strong but the offense is looking fantastic on the Buccaneers. And they did get a bunch of takeaways last week against the Bears. So I'm going to give us one to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, guys. Moving on to our next game, we got the Denver Broncos versus the Buffalo Bills. Bills did, like we said, low scoring game and lost against the Panthers. And the Broncos are undefeated, still 2-0. and And they just... Oh my goodness, that defense, man. Who was it that had, I don't know if, it, I think it was Akeem Tlaib, but had a 103 yard pick six. Unfreaking believable. They held Zeke on, uh, to eight rushing yards. Last week, Tom Brady had more rushing yards than Zeke. Unbelievable. Isn't that crazy? I, I, I really want Buffalo to win this one, but I don't see them winning this one. So we're giving that one to the Denver Broncos. Next, we got Miami Dolphins versus the Jets. This one's pretty simple. I'm going to give this one to the Miami Dolphins. The Jets, they played better last week. They put up more numbers on the board. They put up 20 points against the Raiders but they got they got uh 42 I think points dropped on them so we're giving that one to the Miami Dolphins now this one is going to be an interesting game right here and this is another good game to watch I guess another one o'clock game to watch is going to be this New York Giants versus the Philadelphia uh Eagles man because yo this is going to be a game that a lot of people are going to tune in because uh, like the Giants could go 0-3 to start. Jason Pierre-Paul doesn't think they're going to go, but that offensive line is looking terrible. And we got a great pass rush right here with the Philadelphia Eagles. And Carson Wentz looking good. Darren Sproles, a little shifty guy. He's one of my, he's like an underrated uh, running back. I'm giving this one to the home team. I'm giving this one to the Philadelphia Eagles. They did lose last week against the Case, uh, Kansas City Chiefs and the Giants lost um, against the Lions. Now, moving on to our 4 o'clock games this is going to be uh, a game that i see seattle losing they're gonna start the season one and two guys tennessee is looking very posed and seattle's offense is looking so bad i can't i don't even know what to say man it is looking very 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 bad like the it, it's just not working out for them last weekend they played against the 49ers and they almost lost to the 49ers um yes granted the thursday night game was lit rams versus 49ers went to like 39 to 41 points but Still, I'm going to give this one to the Tennessee Titans. They are playing at home. I think Seattle is going to lose this one. Sorry, Cralo. I think Seattle is going to lose this week. Um, moving on to our next game, we got the Green Bay Packers versus the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. Like I said, the Bengals are playing very, very bad. They're having a really bad start, and I don't think this is a weekend that they're going to turn this around. They're playing in Lambeau Field. Green Bay needs to bounce back after getting steamrolled um, by Atlanta. So this one, I'm going to give this to the Green Bay Packers, and it is just not looking good for the, the Bengals, man. Now, another great game right here. 
here. We got the Chargers. Are they gonna are they gonna get the field goal this time? Are they gonna win? They're playing at home. Um, and of course, KC is on a tear. Travis Kelsey got that like flying touchdown. Uh Hunt is playing out of his mind, and the team is just looking really good. I'm gonna give this one to the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, moving on to our Sunday night game. We got the Oakland Raiders versus the Washington Redskins. Now, Washington did win, like we said, against the Eagles, but Oakland is looking so good, man. And uh, Marshall Lynch was dancing on the side of the field. I'm going to give this one to the Raiders. Um, I'm sorry to the Redskins fans, but I'm going to give this one to the Raiders. I, I know I don't really pick the Redskins a lot, but I just don't see the matchups. Last week, I, I picked wrong. That was on my fault, but I'm going to go with the Oakland Raiders. Now, moving on to our final game, and that is the Monday night game. Dallas Cowboys versus the Arizona uh, Cardinals. Cardinals, man. They almost lost the Colts. They almost lost to the Colts and went to overtime. I thought they were going to blow them out of the game, especially since they lost against the Lions in week one. They had to prove themselves, and they almost lost against the Colts. And like I said, the Colts are not even doing that great this year. And Dallas really has got to prove themselves because they got exposed by the Broncos last Monday. Um, last, what was it, Sunday night, I think the game was? I can't remember when that game was, but they got exposed. Um, and um, they are playing in uh, Arizona, but we're giving this one to the Dallas Cowboys. So yeah, guys, those are my picks go ahead and tell me in the comment section below if you guys agree with me if you guys don't tell me which team you guys think is gonna win i know it's gonna upset some people if i didn't pick your team but hey this is just the way i see them um but thank you guys so much for watching of course guys um i have an awesome sunday of football and yeah always stay hype and i'll catch you guys soon peace what's up